Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Simon Tosinos. Thank you so much for joining us. Families in Lynchburg are honoring their loved ones lost to fentanyl with the billboard. They want to spread awareness about the dangers of drugs in the hopes of saving someone else. WDBJ 7's Lindsay Cook has the story. The 20 faces on this billboard behind me are people whose families say their deaths could have been prevented, but now their picture represents hope. Brian Reed was 39 years old when his mother, Pat Reed, says he overdosed. He had a great job. He worked every day. He was a loving, caring son and father. He did not want to die. She's sharing his story and trying to make a difference. I feel sad, of course, that he's up there, but also happy to be here and speaking about the cause. Brian is one of 20 faces on a new billboard. Created by Rachel's Angels, it represents people who lost their lives to fentanyl. 11 of them were from Lynchburg. They do billboards all over the country. So I asked them to do one here in Virginia, and we put all Virginia victims on this one. On Saturday, the families whose loved ones are on the billboard rallied to talk about the dangers of fentanyl. People from all walks of life are dying from this. No intention of taking any fentanyl, no intention of taking anything that would hurt them. Reed hopes that when people see her son's face on the sign, it'll move them to become aware of the risks. And people drive by, even if it's a momentary, yes, that's, that's a problem. It'll, little by little, this is going to get further into people's heads that this needs to be dealt with, and immediately. It's a first step of many to combat the problem, but it's giving hope to the families. You can't fix it with just one thing, but there needs to be coordination and it needs to happen. And I think the sign is a great way of um, starting that in this area. The rally group plans to be back next week, but this time they'll be joined by local lawmakers. In Lynchburg, Lindsay Cook, WDBJ7.